but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Warn to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Hey, many fish. It's still the 20th of November. And uh, just checking drudge. And of course we have this. Evil dead. I beg to differ. Maybe this man is dead, but he's hell's burning, it says, okay? And I'm just looking at Drudge, and it really just makes me think, wow, you know, no wonder the world seems to just be like deer in the headlights in so many ways. They don't know what to get behind, or what to be against. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? They don't even define these things. They run off of emotions and what the media programs them with. And of course, a heap in helping of entertainment. But I'm just thumbing through these articles, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. Everywhere you turn, there's something about gay. And then on the same page, you got sex scandals wreaking havoc in politics. Then we have class warfare. Robot makers. It's absolutely crazy. Women chasing young boys. Battle with gays. Macho men with money. Bullfighter in testicles. Okay. Purity of drugs reaching higher levels. Skull could rewrite human history. This is like back in the 80s, the tabloids. But this is what's going on. This is what most of the world's being fed, primarily. I mean, it's crazy. Another missile, new missile can reach the U.S. this year. I, I mean, really? How many times are we going to go over that? The first space nation takes flight. 200,000 prepare. Fireball footage captured by astronaut Sparks and Na claims NASA hiding E.T. Oh my goodness. And then we have right here in front of us, Research Flat Earth. And how many people do you think actually will? Well, they should. They really should. If they want to know where they live, they'd look into that. But the real ones I saw, I mean all of it. We could go on if you want. They're building more for the rich. Baltimore, don't feel safe anywhere. Saudi Arabia and Iran. This, that's a big one right there, folks. Mystery blasts around the world. An upsurge in big quakes. Predicted as Earth rotation slows. I mean, what are they going to tell us next? You know what I'm saying? Football, all that garbage. But the ones I was really looking at are this one, Katy Perry, and... Manson. This guy was demonically possessed and obviously carried out his orders just as he was told and was able to stay alive and carry that Helter Skelter legend along with him for these many years. 50 years, is it? 49 years since the murders. He was 83, 813. You know, it's already just 9-11s all over the place. I mean, I can't help it. And it's really no matter who you look at, it's pretty much the same thing. This one's courtesy of NBC. Murderous cult leader, right? Let's see. Uh, we won't go there. But yeah, 813. 13 I've been seeing a lot lately, and um, that's not a good number at all. 9-11, 11, 11, 13, 11... I'm just saying, this is this is the kind of thing that just kind of like bubbles to the surface that most people don't see. And it's not as though I'm sitting here reading this out of like some mystical book or something. I don't go there. The only book I refer to is the Holy Bible. 
and I pray on all this stuff, I do. And this is what has been given me to illustrate the depth and uh, scope of the dark, wicked spirits, powers, and principalities that rule on this earth. And until you see them, you know, you're powerless. You, you need to see them, in my case, I, I needed to understand that in order to fully embrace and accept Christ Jesus. Okay? That's just as simple as that. But it goes through Manson's all his growing up, how horrible it was. He uh, was pop culture, da 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 da. Manson just fascinated Americans, many of whom first laid eyes on him when he was on trial and had carved an X into his head. Think about that an X, okay, which was later turned into a swastika. He carried an X around on his forehead, okay? Think about that. <laughs> and it goes on and on. Born on November 12th, another place said November 11th. 19-year-old waitress here. On and on and on. And it's a very long article. And I will absolutely leave links to this. This one, they wanted to make sure that people had a healthy helping of information on this one. Look at down here. This is this is where he speaks himself. His co-defendants were found guilty when it was over. Manson spoke directly to America. Mr. and Mrs. America, you are wrong, he said. I am not the king of the Jews, nor am I a hippie cult leader. I am what you have made me, and the mad dog, devil killer, fiend leper is a reflection of your society. Whatever the outcome of this madness that you call a fair trial or Christian justice, you can know this. In my mind's eye, my thoughts light fires in your cities. Who do you think spoke that? You think those words came from a guy called Charles Manson? I don't think so. That's what you're dealing with, okay? And if you can't see it at this particular point in time, I don't know what to tell you. And the other one was the Katy Perry. This big dispute over this convent. And when I saw Katy Perry and the Vatican in the same headline, I had to go look at it, okay? There's a dispute over this property that was built by a very uh, peculiar um, architect, Bernard Maybeck. Look into him. He actually built the clubhouse at the Bohemian Grove. That's right. He built this, and it belongs to the Vatican. So, Katy Perry is uh, battling with the Vatican and some other woman, essentially, that uh, wants to buy the house and pay more than her and so on. And it's really kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you. But it caught my eye. And when I saw the address, and it's in here somewhere, the address of it in Los Angeles, it really caught my attention. Because that's what happens to me. I can't explain it. Okay. I don't know what this is. Um, where Katy Perry's little... Catholic uh, convent houses right here. This is that house. I don't know why it does that, guys. Um, and from and, oh man, I'm not done. Hold on, I gotta show you this. You gotta forgive me. This is the kind of stuff that happens to me as I'm poking around there about Katy Perry's uh, house. There, I find this article here. Check this out. There is an obelisk, a full. Life-size, 137-foot obelisk out in Los Angeles. The Bowtie Project. This guy named Parker, and that's important because of other things I'll show you, hopefully. Did this, right, in this vacant lot right alongside the L.A. River, the canal there. And it's mimicking a site in Egypt called the Unfinished Obelisk. In Egypt, right? Check this out. Right here. That some pharaoh queen had made and they were about to pull it up out of the quarry and it broke. Can you imagine that? Whoa, somebody must have been ticked off. The unfinished obelisk. 
right in LA. I couldn't believe it. Check it out where this is. I got it for you right here. Da -da -da. Right down the street from Katy Perry's house. Or the Vatican's house, I should say. And check it out. It's got this dot down here. And I'm sure that probably represents, you know, this is the phallic symbol. And this is probably just the base of, you know, where the the gonads are, if I, if I can say that and not offend anybody. But anyways, from the obelisk, the secret circle, to Katy Perry's, I mean, right to really the center of the of the house there, right? I call it the Patey, Perry Vatican. So I go, you know, to the center of the house there, and that's, uh, let's see, where is that one? Is that this one right here? Nope. Is that this one right here? Nope. That one. Okay, let's look at the properties of that one. Here, let me get them in here. The measurements, it's only 1.83 miles, but that converts into 3,222 yards. I ain't making this up, you guys. You saw me. I went right through the, right from the secret circle right to the center of what you would call this house. And that's not all. 322 yards equals 9,666 feet. You can't make this up ever. No way. Can't do it. It's impossible. And check this out. If we go from the Katy Perry Vatican building over to where uh, Manson killed all those people, right? That would be this line. Nope, that would be this line from Katy Perry to Manson, right? Come on now. And again, I go right to like the center of the, the house, the compound. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I don't mess around with these things. And that's right from the Katy Perry house there, okay? Is that the right? Yeah, that's the right one right here. Sorry about that. Look at these measurements. I don't care about the feet. Look at the miles. 9.11 miles. Again, I'm sorry. You can't make that up. And then we go from the Manson Massacre house to the obelisk. Check this out. Let me see. It's this one here. Let's go to this one. Right. Let me show you the other end, though. Make sure that you know that's the other end. We go back. We go back past Katy Perry's Vatican house over here. And it winds us back at the obelisk in the ground. Right to the secret circle. And we look at the properties. And we got 10.8 miles. Remember from Katy Perry's, it was 1.83 miles. Well, 10.8 miles comes out to 1969 yards, okay? That, I'm not really concerned, even though it's a 777, but think about it. This is the year that Manson committed the murders, 1969, and we know all about the number 69. Now, sure, this could all be coincidence. Sure, it could, but it's not. It forms a shard. And the reason it's not is because this is what's embedded in the world. It's literally etched into the world, into the words and architecture and all of it, folks. I just don't know how else to put it to you. This whole world is a delusion, an illusion. Yes, you are here living in flesh and blood, but you are a spirit, your eternal life. I mean, look at this. I can't get over this. I'm just looking at a lot of this for the first time. That is insane. Wow. But yeah, okay. There, I'm done. I had to show you all this stuff because they want to tell you that Charles Manson is rotting in hell. What they don't tell you is a good portion of humanity is going to have the same fate if they don't change their ways and come out of Babylon. Seek Jesus and get right with God. Because time is short. This stuff is just everywhere. More and more every day. Time is short, people. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 